Let's turn to video two, use of Jinko biloba in children and adolescents. Jinko leaves have been used for over 4,000 years to treat a whole variety of indications, including asthma, vertigo or dizziness, tinnitus, ringing in the ears. However, Jinko may also have a role in the treatment of certain psychiatric illnesses. In terms of mechanism of action, Jinko extracts, particularly the flavonoids, terpenoids, and organic acids are believed to act synergistically as free radical scavengers and antagonists of platelet activating factor. The result of this activity is improved vascular perfusion due to dilatation of arteries and capillaries, a reduction in thrombosis, and a decrease in inflammatory mediators. Potential indications for Jinko biloba ADHD. There are, in fact, several studies which have investigated the use of Jinko for the treatment of ADHD in children and adolescents. Results from two open-label trials investigating the efficacy of Jinko for the treatment of ADHD found that Jinko was, in fact, effective in reducing ADHD symptoms after four weeks of treatment. An additional open-label trial also found that administration of the maximum daily dose of 240 milligrams of Jinko led to improved quality of life measures and reduced ADHD symptoms. However, results from a six-week randomized controlled trial comparing methylphenidate at doses of 20 to 30 milligrams versus Jinko with doses of 80 to 120 milligrams in children with ADHD found that Jinko was significantly less effective than methylphenidate for the treatment of ADHD. Results from an additional six-week randomized controlled trial also found that the combination of Jinko and methylphenidate led to a significant improvement in inattention symptoms compared with methylphenidate and placebo and suggests that Jinko, when combined with methylphenidate, may be effective as an adjunctive therapy for the treatment of childhood ADHD. While additional randomized controlled trials are needed to fully elucidate the therapeutic effect and value of the Jinko in ADHD, Jinko does appear to be well tolerated and may provide a clinically useful alternative for those patients who are unable to tolerate or who are not willing to take methylphenidate or who have incomplete responses to methylphenidate. And this is important because we know that many patients treated with ADHD are partial responders. So the additional benefit given with adjunctive Jinko may be very important and helpful. Dosage and administration. Jinko is available in the United States in both liquid or solid form for oral ingestion. The typical dosage regimens are 40 milligrams three times daily or 80 milligrams twice daily. Preparation should be standardized to the equivalent of the EGB761 extract, which contains 24% flavone and 6% terpene lactones. Side effects. The good news is that side effects of Jinko are generally mild. They include GI upset, nausea, headache, diarrhea, anxiety, and insomnia. Although rare, subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hematomas, and intracerebral hemorrhage have been reported in individuals receiving concurrent treatment with anticoagulant medications, likely secondary to Jinko's effect on reducing platelet aggregation. Simultaneous treatment with anticoagulants should be avoided, as should treatment in individuals with impairments in blood clotting. Key take-home points here are current evidence suggests that Jinko is effective in reducing ADHD symptoms. Although results from a study comparing methylphenidate versus Jinko found that Jinko was significantly less effective than methylphenidate for the treatment of ADHD, Results from an additional study found that Jinko, when combined with methylphenidate, may be effective as an adjunctive therapy for the treatment of childhood ADHD.
Side effects of Jenko are generally mild. Simultaneous treatment with anticoagulants should likely be avoided, as well as treatment in individuals with blood clotting impairments. While additional randomized controlled trials are needed to fully elucidate the therapeutic value of Jenko in ADHD, Jenko may provide a clinically useful alternative for those patients who are unable to tolerate or who are not willing to take methylphenidate. Addition of Jenko may provide additional benefit. For those patients taking methylphenidate who have a partial incomplete response, 